Hey everybody, Pastor Chad here. Uh, I'm here with Ben DeYoung. He is our new summer intern and he's going to be doing all kinds of uh, work with me this summer. I'm really excited to have him on board and I just want to take a few minutes um, today just to introduce you to him but then also give him the opportunity to just kind of uh, share a little bit about himself because uh, even though many of us know that he is the son of the lead pastor of our church, um, he's been away, and so a lot of us don't really know him very well. So we're going to give you the opportunity to get to know him just a little bit. So, Ben, tell us about yourself. What is it about me that's interesting? Well, a, I am a double major graduate from Crandall University. I have just completed a double major in psychology and a brand new program called Communication Arts in Theater. Technically, I'm the first graduate of that, so that's interesting. A uh, fancy way of saying that I have a great passion for psychology. I'm an actor and an artist. Um, I am now a video editor, which is also awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you're hired on here for the summer. What do you hope to get out of your time here this summer? Video editing is something I've been really interested in for quite a while, actually. I've, I've been interested in trying to start some stuff up. It's, it's sort of, it, it's a, a medium that I did get to start when I went to Rosebud for a year as part of my communications degree, but I didn't have the greatest time doing that part. But this, where it's sort of this vlog style, where we're recording an individual and we're not really cutting any of the content out. It's pretty raw, so it feels much more real than you know pre-planning every single step and, and using new programs, learning new techniques and situations, and also getting to go and film and take photos and all that. I've, I've always loved photography, and now especially I get to use it in a workplace environment, and that's really exciting. And I'm really, really excited to answer your question to be able to do this anywhere now. So I guess you heard it here first. If any of the video is subpar, he made it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the Apprentice will take yeah, the yeah. blame. Yeah. yeah, we'll throw you under the bus. Yeah. I, I am just excited about Ben coming on board for the summer and us being able to work together and do all that. One last question, Ben. Um, tell us about your spiritual journey. When did you, when did you kind of commit your heart to the Lord and uh, where do you see yourself in all of that right this second? So I was one of those sort of, as it were, stereotypical church-raised kids who, when I was four years old, originally asked Jesus to come into my heart. And then, you know, the age of five comes along and I do it again, because I'm not sure if it took, because I was that sort of age. So wait, are um, you Baptist or Wesley? Baptist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Fair statement. Um, I've been brought up in the church my whole life, can't imagine my life without it. Um, I remember when I was in middle school and in high school, I always felt kind of out of place because I always had this sort of ethical and moral guideline and intention behind the things I did that I looked around and I didn't see. Um, <laughs> it made a lot of people question why I was the way I was and such like that, but it, that's, that's continued throughout my entire life. Um, and straight into my journey at Crandall, actually. It's, it's part of the reason why I wanted to go into psychology, because having this different point of view made a lot of people feel like I was, for some reason, trustworthy, strangely enough, which oftentimes seems to lead into the counseling facet. So I went to psych, very interested in that route, and I still am interested in it, I'm just not in a hurry to get there, necessarily. But my faith has really guided me that way, um, into wanting to help others heal in, in pretty well the ways that aren't necessarily always seen. Um, the mental health issues people faith, face and all of that, um, they're so real, and 
when you really look close, I could I could frequently tell when there's a spiritual warfare going on that's not just mental health exclusive related. So the sight, the faith, all of that kind of culminates together for me. And it just it guides me and leads me and helps me make all of the decisions I do. Well, <clears throat> I guess you've heard it here. Now you've gotten to know Ben a little bit. I'm excited, once again, as I said, to have him on board and to be working together. So first he's going to learn how to heal video, and, yeah. and then he's going to work at healing uh, people in general as he continues on in his, in his ministry and in psychology counseling and all that stuff. So, hey, take the time to give a shout out to Ben in our Zoom meetings or uh, if you see him around and uh, get to know our new person on staff. God bless.